Why hello there fellow zombie survivors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, episode 16, Auto Shop. Oh, Jesus! Problem, problem, problem. Very problem. Unavoidable freaking bomb on the bridge. That was my last shot. Are that you kidding me? Magazine. That was unavoidable. He blocked the whole stupid bridge with his fat body. That was it. I'm out. Cannot believe that. Don't touch me. Got you with the door. I just noticed killing that pharaoh that I wasn't getting the 11 influence. It was only getting 10. I don't think the radio command is going to be done by the time the base defense kicks off, but I only have 25 seconds to go 500 meters. Uh, as the crow flies! I was going to make it, but that bloater definitely screwed me up. Oh, and uh, now there's a juggernaut. I'm here! Uh, Frickin' bloater. <sighs> oh well. Four seconds too late, that was harsh. I know, I know, it was harsh. But I'm alive! So, you know, there, there's something to be said for, you know, being alive after hitting a bloater on a bridge. Could be a lot worse, right? Um, all right, let's arrest this lady. What noises are you making? You, stay clear of you know what's interesting is not only do we handle the, the horde, I don't think we use bullets think for it. Feral. Okay, uh, what to do? I'm going to switch off of her to rest her. I'll switch to Davy so I can put her in the infirmary. So there is a trader quest here that we have the friends with benefits, but I would have to take control of Adelita to do that. I didn't want to take control of Adelita in case it wasn't voted on. Um, or I could go scavenge, uh, work on outposts if you wanted, but there's really not clearing infestations even to do, so don't vote for that because I cleared them all. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think all of them. Uh, so for the active event effects, or rather for the morale, we do have a little bit of low food warnings, but uh, here we go. Leader projects are completed. That makes people happy. And then, well, no one's happy about me clearing every single infestation on the map. You guys are picky. So it looks like outposts maybe will win the, the poll here. I can dig it. Uh, Taking a look at my current usage. I'm obviously in the hole for a lot of food. I am... Minus one med, minus two building material. Um, plus one fuel. The current outpost that I have yeah, is a level work. two food and a level one fuel. So I could upgrade my fuel if I had the la I'll, I'll have the labor pretty soon. So I could upgrade my fuel to give me bonus fuel. But then we're going to have you vote on what outpost to claim. There's also the possibility of claiming a water outpost to give me base-wide water. There is a caveat, however, which I would say is that um, it if I manage to get a plumber... It might be oh, better yeah. for me to know. have my own plumber plumbing in-house. Um, yeah. 
which means um, getting a still. So I would need to teach someone chemistry or building a rain collector. So there's multiple ways of getting water. Uh, you can build a rain collector or you can get an outpost that does it. But the trader leader has a bonus uh, project to make um, trade leader. Let me look this up so I don't get it wrong. Trader, a level two still makes luxury items when you have a trade leader. So if I make a a, um, a rain collector and a still, the still here is a different way to get base wide water. And I can level it up to make things to, that I can sell, which is really powerful. But it does require me to have knowledge of chemistry first. I think I do have a chemistry book, though. I don't. So I would need to get a chemist. Okay. So so I'm going to put down... Uh, it looks like you guys do want me to get outposts. Uh, what outposts to claim? So let me fully explain. I know, I know this is verbose, but fully explain how I envision a future base. Uh, the best way to make food in State of Decay is hydroponics. By far. Um, hydroponics makes you tons and tons and tons of food. Here it is. Plus three food a day. But hydroponics requires water and power as a requirement, and also someone with knowledge of utilities. Now, I already have someone with knowledge of utilities. Hey guys, we use some assistance over here. Man, there's a lot of people that need help. Um, so knowledge, uh, uh, so power and water is important. I think personally, it's best to get a power outpost and to get the water in house through a uh, level two still. That's probably what I'm going to work towards. So, uh, yeah, what outpost to work. claim should be power. Now, that requires a lot more influence than I currently have, but I'm going to have it as an option. Uh, food, meds, building, mats, ammo, fuel, or beds. So, power... power. Um, I do have a power substation available to me. It costs 2,000 influence to gain, uh, but I could start working on getting the influence required to get the power substation to provide... Uh, base-wide power to my base at the upkeep cost of a daily fuel cost, which can be offset from outposts. Um, food. Obviously, we're in the hole for food. There's a swine and bovine literally across the street that I could claim that would give me food. Uh, meds. I think there are some... Oh, and there's food here in the Spooner Barn. Uh, there's ammo here, the Armwell Gun Shop. There's fuel here at the Providence Fuel Pumps. Uh, I'm not sure there are meds available. Here's another power substation. There is other. There is, I didn't include it, but there is, um, military stations, which allow you to, well, that's not one of them, but there are some, um, artillery stations and allows you to call in an artillery strike as a favor. I don't know if there is such a outpost on this map tile. There might not be. But yeah, it looks like you guys want me to earn up to power, right? Okay. So for me to do that, I need influence. That is the limiting factor. Man, I used all of my Molotovs. I guess I'll make some more. There are two mil, uh, artillery spots on this map. Cool. Good to know. They might be covered by plague hearts. It looks like uh, all the build potential building materials that I have available to me are also covered by plague hearts as well. So building mats might not even be something I could do. And there's also cell towers for scouting, but I, I never do those because I radio cooldown outposts I find are relatively worthless. So the current priority right now is to... Save up for a power station outpost and move to a larger base. So I'm going to go help um, my neighbors for influence. Listen, I won't forget what you did for me. So I'm going to head over to the rocket jumpers who lost a friend. Oh, Jesus. In order to get some influence.
I take out the nearest plague heart, this might just clear up. So sorry I took a while to explain all that, but there is definitely what an ideal base looks like. And for a trader leader, it would definitely be a level two still with a uh, with probably an outpost for power. Yo, anyone wants to trade? We got the goods. I do want to trade. I will be doing that in just a sec. So I'm going to have to remind myself that this is the old bow, and it is not rapid fire. You appreciate the explanation? Well, you're welcome. Some, some, some people here are probably veterans of the game, and they're like, we don't need this explanation, but I like to try to create content for hey. the, the novice. Aye, aye. What do you say to a bit of bartering? No problem. This type of enclave sells plague samples for basically no influence. <laughs> Always buy it. Four influence for play four plague samples is the best deal that you will ever get in this entire game. I can't think of anything m worth more bang for my buck than that. Oh, dear lord, did you lose your friend far away? Why did he go a mile away from the base? That makes no sense. All right, well, here we go, I guess. Oh, who moved in there? Remaining soldiers. Oh, that's a plotter! Oh my god, how am I alive? The bloater had his back turned to me, so I didn't see his glowing belly. And then he turned, and it was just life flashed before my eyes. Because in that situation, there were so many zombies around that I would have dove out of the car and just been, like, clobbered to death. That would have been rough. Oh, there's another bloater. Yeah, I was I wasn't looking at him. I was I was reading chat. Hey, we're pretty close to uh, Fight Club Lady. I think, right? Yeah. This is a Plague Heart and Jesters. Yep, there, just scouted it. This is one heck of a drive. Am I using the broker? No, I don't like the, the uh, gun broker. I don't like having to do his hey, missions, here? especially not in lethal. And then some, some of the things the broker has you do is easy to accomplish, and then he gives you an overpowered gun, so it's not very balanced. Sounds like you're having fun here. Did you just scream on the ground? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think we should. Okay, right behind you. All right, so I all I need to do is to return him back to his base. But this house is um unsearched, so I might as well just grab some stuff here because I have the space. For the compliment. Really, what I was hoping for. You see that zombie moving our way? I'm assuming you can handle like a zombie or two. Oh, let's search through the wall. 
Car fuel? I found everything I'm gonna find. Cover my back. Or don't. I got it. There's a... While I'm out here, there's another shed up here that I want to search. There's a bit of a, an advantage when you're on these, like, escort quests. As long as you don't think that your person that you're escorting is likely to die. Using them as cover. Because the... NPCs have infinite ammo. The ones that don't belong to your enclave have. Oh, what the hell? Way to get stink bomb. Jesus Christ. Dude, that was. I. I can't even. What. What a trap. Incredible trap that was. I've never seen that. I have never seen a bloater just like sitting behind a door like that ever. I think we can help each other out. Ever, ever, ever. Never seen it. It happens, you said? Yeah, I mean, I guess it does. It doesn't to me. Let's just get this done, okay? At least uh Davy here got recoiled pretty hard and didn't take the brunt of that. He's not all that infected. Man, that was rough. I guess I, if, I, if I was listening properly... I, oh, a survey car. Neat. If I was listening uh, well enough for it, I would have heard the bloater and known that it was in there. But I was yammering. Didn't hear it. Oh, shit. That horde is coming at us. Yeah, we're traveling at 50 miles an hour. So what? So if you're wondering, the, the survey cars... Um, help to passively scout around where, while you drive. Not so useful on lethal difficulty because the plague prevents you from actually scouting anywhere. But on uh, easier difficulties, the survey car can be pretty helpful to get the lay of the land. We're probably going to miss that. Oh. There goes the door. I was bored, so I went out and found a few things. Damn, Elena, that's awesome. Are they a light vehicle? Um It is, but if you upgrade it, it loses its scouting uh capability. It becomes What does it become? Does it become the broken trekker upgrade? I think. An eye on that oh, one. that's a dead end. It becomes the Hellion? Yeah, I think you're right. It does be... Uh, I think you're right. It, it, it becomes the Hellion. But it, it... Regardless, it doesn't... It loses its scout capability. So... There isn't, like, an armored scout car. That'd be cool, but... Oh, I hear a feral. Okay, I hear two ferals. Fine. Hop on. Really? I just ran you over and nothing? Roadkill. Is it worth it? Not really. If you like the Hellion, yes. If you don't like the Hellion, no. Vehicles are more about personal preference than they are okay. about its now. stats. Listen, and my personal preference is Miragra and the upgraded Miragra are... I like... I enjoy a lot more than any other vehicle other in the game yep. by many factors. Not even a close fight for me. Or close. Uh, it's possible that if I end up... Um, with an auto shop, and then also like a friendly enclave that has that has like a fuel efficiency bonus, I would consider a different vehicle. 
Yeah. But the, the larger trucks the guzzle Bro. gas. So they can be really expensive to run as a um, a daily driver. So I'm at 1375 influence. The auto shop is done in two minutes. Come on in. Let's drive home. Should I make the Maragra uh, upgrade? Yes or no? It's going to cost me some, some resources that maybe you guys don't want me to waste, but I figured I'd ask. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, make it. I understand. So if I want to get a lot of uh, influence really quickly, one thing I could do is I could go to meds places, places that I can loot meds and uh, make myself bulk cure, because I have a lot of plague samples. Much thanks to the rocket jumpers, honestly. I've been buying a lot of plague samples from them, and then all the, all the juggernauts I'm killing drop a bunch, too. Got to treat myself. Well, if I am about to upgrade my car, when you upgrade a car, it gets fully repaired. So I might as well abuse my car a little bit. Okay, that that was quick. Very quick abuse. I don't want it to burn because then I'd have to repair it again. Another thing is sometimes you get free items from upgrading it. It makes no sense that you find like random stuff in the trunk. Uh oh. They're getting upset. Uh, but with that said, I should um, put away anything that's in the trunk. So what do the zombie survivors need? Uh, should... I deliver food to the Zom vets. Another successful project under our belt. Yes or no? And then there's the wandering trader, and it's a materials trader. Dang, I need to go over and talk to her in a minute, too. So I can find... I know I'm low on food, but I can find um, some additional food to be able to deliver to them. So auto shop. Craft upgrade crit. So if I wanted a, a medium vehicle upgrade kit, I am going to need power. So all the more reason to A, get the building materials. I'd like to follow up on a topic we were discussing yesterday. Project Osiris dispatch. Mayday received. Credentials check out. Osiris, do you copy? This is Red Talon. Please respond. Okay. Yes. Damn it. Can't you see this conversation is for grown-ups? Osiris, realize. So it's going to take me a little bit to be able to make this upgrade kit, so I'm going to keep this car running for now. Um, so that's my current goal, is to get the Miraga upgraded. Well, and that's going to require me to have a power outpost. I could um, get a, the generator mod and stock, stick the generator mod back into the auto shop. Uh, but I sold that, so... Oh, Jesus, really? Um, okay, bad place to get stuck. <laughs> How's it going? Bad. It's going real bad. Give me your stuff quick. Let's tackle. Why not? Hey, Chelsea. A little help. Chelsea. Chelsea, a little help. All right, it's vulnerable. Oh, she got it. Yeah, I'm going to search and make as much noise as I can, because, you know, you have a big gun and infinite ammo. And 
I will exploit that. Man, they keep roaring. This is the horror that never ends. All right, so that she had one more rock, right? I think we can help each other out. Might as well. Well, there goes a lot of the influence that I had saved up, but I think it was well worth it. I think the uh, the building materials are going to be worth more than the influence. And then I'll get the influence by making uh, what's their name happy. Shouldn't take me too long to get there. So when you agree to do a mission, like delivering food, you know how it gave me the warning that my relationship with them is going cold because I ignored that? Accepting the mission gives you a little bit of extra time before um, before you fail. Unfortunately, I think uh, I can't switch survivors for it, so I'm just going to have to rock my way there with uh, Davey here. So if I need food, where the hell am I going to get food? Oh, covered farm storage. Maybe there? Yeah, I can't switch? Alright, let me switch. Some missions don't let you switch. I'll take your word for this. I know, I know. Quite low on food. Ooh, someone brought a mower blade back. One nasty screamer. So I'm gonna head to the farm 400 meters that way, and let's update the priority. Uh, save up for the power outpost. I spelled that wrong. Help neighbors and move. And move to large, because character limits exist. Hey Ark, welcome to your uh, your first stream. Oh, there's my door. It's too bad I can't slap it back on. It did protect me from that feral that wanted to tear me out of the car, so... Served its purpose. So I'm back down to 800 influence. Definitely feeling a lot better. Anyone got word for me? Come on. Accelerate! Perfect. Just perfect. Oh god, that was a feral. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, Ruff, thanks for the resub. Uh, don't tear my door off, thank you. Let's hope there's two rucksacks here. Not super likely, but it can happen. Now that's heavy. 
Another classic crossbow, so I can either sell it or, or salvage it. Oh, a ruck of food, perfect. So I'm gonna go deliver this to Cadet. Um, because they need it pretty much just as much as we do, but you guys voted for me to do the quest, and then I can try to hunt for more food after finishing this quest. It's also fully possible that I deliver this to them and then I can just buy it back from them. Completing the quest and making sure that we stay nice and allied, but then also not okay. losing the food. Around, but you can't secure the place with plague hard close by. When you fail a search, does it spawn new do uh, zombies in the zone? Yes, it does. So it's a bit of a risk, which I always take. Unless there's like a massive horde nearby. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Okay, so their um, allied benefit sucks. It's off-site ammo storage. So it allows me to store more ammo. It raises my ammo max, which means um, one of two things. I could recruit one, or I could enlist them and slowly get them to tank for me until they die. So what to do about this enclave? Use them as bodyguards, or recruit one or both so i could plan on recruiting one but then use them as bodyguards in the meantime um because like let's say hey. let's just for an instance say that we wanted hey, to take perez because oh no not perez we wanted to take cadet because cadet is a chemist and we want a chemist uh in order to get the level two still what i could do is i could enlist anderson See you soon, and okay. perez until they died uh, them escorting me on whatever shenanigans that I have them. Uh, one of the advantages of the escort is A, it's another person that could tank for me, and B, if I find anything that I want to sell, I can just immediately turn around and sell it to them because they're next to me. So it's very convenient. It, it's definitely abusive, but like, you know, whatever. Uh, they're NPCs. I don't really care. Uh, it looks like you guys want me to do both. So, um, should I plan on recruiting, uh, or who. Should I recruit? Cadet, the chemist. Um, Anderson, the doc. Or Perez, the uh, blank combat. Or the empty fifth slot combat. Hey, how's it going? So Perez has really high skills here. Um, I know the poles in the way, so only hide the poles so you can actually see stuff. So he has really, really high skills, um, maxed endurance, really high assault discipline, and pretty high cardio. Not elite yet. And he has an empty fifth slot that I could teach him something from a book. Good to see you. Uh, Anderson here is a doctor with resourcefulness, which is actually a really nice um, skill that she has, her wits skill. And then Hello, Cadet is the chemist with lower skills. So he's not as skilled as the other two. But one of the reasons we wanted a chemist is if we built a still, uh, where is it? If we built a still, uh, we need someone with knowledge of chemistry and that would give us base wide water. So if we get a still for water and the power station for power, we have water and power in order to be able to do like hydroponics or whatever. People are happy when they have running water and, and power. Uh, if we wanted hydroponics, we could break down one of these sheltered beds and turn it into a hydroponics station. Just as a for instance. Okay, so you guys want uh, Cadet the Chemist. Uh, so, Mr. Perez, the good okay. combatant. Come on and watch my back. You watch my back, you follow me. After you. So here's my new escort. Oh, that sounds dirty, but you guys know what I mean. Um, okay. Should I do the friends with benefits? 
now or later. If I did it now, I would obviously switch to Adelita and go do it. If I do it later, uh, I would probably go scavenge for food, because I know our outpost or our home is basically out of food entirely. Um, I don't really want to starve, so, you know. Right now I'm poking around to see if there's any food outposts that are claimable. Oh, and there's a new... You know what? I'm actually going to head to the I'm new so plague zombies. infestation. Already got all I can handle. This is weird. I need to go over this bridge. Don't like driving around without a hard door on the driver's side. But I only have one repair kit left, so I'm not about to use it. I spotted a bloater, ready to burst. I remind you a lot of Markiplier. I hope that's a good thing. If it's not, I apologize. For sure a good thing. Okay. I'll take the compliment where I can get one. I do not like driving through these plague-ridden cities. They are sketchy. I'm not zany like Markiplier. Not normally. I can get pretty zany, though. Anyone that was around for my late night streams, like, a year or two ago, would know that. Open your door! Open your door! What are you doing? Fine, whatever. I'm not gonna get that. Whoa! Jeez! Sometimes the um, the ferals get a little too feral, and they end up killing their own bloaters that are in the in the horde, which is funny. Some zombie and zombie violence. Mr. Misses the first, like, six shots. So this is a two-sized infestation. That's not big. Oh, well, that failed. Yes, trash talk a zombie. Seems pers per uh, whatever I'm trying to say. Perfectly reasonable. Yeah, building materials. That's nice. And fuel. And a hatchet and gun parts. Handle. Yoda's doing pretty good. My little sidekick back here. Happy as a clam. So that was flying strike. If you were wondering, I just remembered that I'm on an acrobat. Take a break before I fall over. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. To make room for the loot that's in that uh, shed, I am going to use up that last repair kit. I really hope I don't blow up. I'm going to have to drive home and be very careful.
And I'm gonna do friends with benefits as soon as I get home. Because you all told me to. So that's part of the traitor story quest. Which eventually leads to sort of like a win condition. Hey you. Let's get down to business. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I forgot that, you know, I have an escort that I can just trade to. So yeah, he's already been wounded about sixty of his one eighty four health. You want something? So um, they do today? die eventually. Yeah, that about right. But they're pretty tanky. It takes a while. There are no spears now. I can't keep this up. Spears would be amazing. Depends on how they implemented them, but yeah, I, I wouldn't mind some... You have get... The closest that you get is like a scrim of sticks. And, um... Stuff like that. Not exactly spears. Staves, but not spears. But we can't secure the place with the play card close by. What enclave is this? The remaining soldiers? I don't recall them ever offering me a mission. You much for heavy weapons? Uh, only when I'm trying to kill a plague heart mano a mano. Otherwise, no, not so much. Once we decide on the um, the final base that I'm going to take, I'll probably end up killing plague hearts with um, with heavy weapons. At least one or two of them. I'm home and not dead. My two favorite things. your location. Fair warning, we don't come cheap. We we'll want some first aid kits, which aren't easy to come by. Well, you're in luck. I have three of them. This is seriously too heavy. I'm not going to talk to Davy about his concerns. Sorry, Davy, I don't care. The other thing I could do... Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to make the executive decision to call in a food trader. Because that's going to solve my I'm about to starve problem. Ahem. I'm here with your food. You got what I want? Cost me influence, of course, but then I don't have to spend the time to go scavenge. Let's make a deal here. Sure. I would formally say that the bottleneck to my going into a large base is not influence. I can make that pretty quick. It's the uh, it's the people. At least we know with Perez's enclave, I'm gonna get I'm gonna go from five to six because we're gonna get Cadet once Perez and uh, Anderson die. What have you got for us? Sure. This food will cover me for a few days, which is nice. And then because we're food secure, our morale is going to go up. Because we had such low food that a lot of people were really concerned. And it was hurting morale as a result. So now, 
uh, we have no morale negatives at the moment, which is uh, much better. All right, let's go back to those soldiers that want to extort me. I feel like a pack mule. They are. Oh, they are the remaining soldiers that are just up the road. Hello, Juggernaut. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a plague hard not too far away. They all have just like small arms fire guns. Doesn't make me that hopeful about how useful they'll be in a play heart fight. Okay, uh, they need three kits, not two. Whoops, I should have brought the third kit. Well, I'll give the kits over now, because that juggernaut's about to mess with me. And these things weigh a lot. Am I wrong? Or does that juggernaut have blood play? Look at me! Pay attention to me! Do not go to the enclave. Missed. Small arms fire bullets are not oh, useful to kill a juggernaut, really, at all. I think they stole the kill? No, no, he's still alive. Is he in there? Back in the car, back in the car, back in the car. Get in, Paris. No, he's outside. Oh, he's kneeling. Got him. Oops, sorry, dude. I'm used to fighting alone. Now, if I could only get that bolt that's in your chest back, please. <laughs> Alright, let's go get the last first aid kit and go deliver it. So we can make a powerful ally, potentially, against Playhearts. I drove the wrong way. Better not break my door. I'll charge you for it. I sort of wish that the NPCs that were in your car only would prop the door open like that if you did too. I've actually almost been killed by that once where they like opened the door and hit a bloater with it, which is the last zombie that you'd ever want to hit with a door. Definitely not a nice thing to do. He's paying with his life. That's true, eventually. We're gonna work him till he dies. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for 30 more seconds for that salvage furnace. So I can salvage the weapons that I have here and turn them into a repair kit. 
for the car because I'm driving around with no repair kits, which is not great. And I can also salvage one of the um, one of the crossbows too. And this PPK. Come on. There it is. I will keep the shovel just in case I need to um, clear a play hard because it's a heavy weapon. The other thing I, is I'm probably getting pretty close to having my auto mechanics sort of close to max. I wonder where, where it's at now. Three star out of seven? Because once you once you take an elite skill all the way up to maximum, like a profession skill, That's you get yet another bonus. Enough. Which can be really nice. So for auto mechanics, uh, let me Google that. I, I don't have that memorized. Auto skill. Knowledge of auto mechanics at max level reduces parts required to craft toolkits by 30%. No, no, that's the boost. Auto mechanics at max gives 25% vehicle fuel efficiency and 50% 50, 50 vehicle stealth, meaning that your cars make less noise. That's nice to have. So as I'm crafting things like upgrade kits and repair kits, she levels up. And when she hits seven, I get that bonus for the entire community, which is pretty awesome. And all of the elite skills have similar bonuses um, once leveled at max. Thank you, kind viewer, for watching State of Decay 2 New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 20th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you on next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there in the zombie apocalypse.